Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and as you can see behind me, we have an ME system set up. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing some more applied energistics stuff, but today I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get the applied energistics uh, stuff set up and actually create our first network. Um, so, uh, off camera, I have been doing a little bit of work basically with this guy, and I did notice that when I was going to make um, these, the refined uh, circuit boards, that uh, yeah, I was, I was stuck here waiting for pure service quartz. Um, and I wanted to get these on camera. So let's go up here and these are done. Awesome. So here's everything that I put in there. So there's the first four we made and I just made a new set. And yeah, so I have just 64 of these. Hopefully that's enough to get us to uh, the point where we can do these faster. Um, having like four or five um, of the charger things um, make that really fast, so it doesn't take very long. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on this, and I set up automation for this. Um, really simple. Um, it, the imp, the top right here, you set a input to the top, and uh, it'll go up here. The side will, of course, go in the middle, and the bottom will put the silicon. And then right here in the front, you can actually export out of the front, and that will take this item out. Um, but yeah, and if you want to stop the automation, just pull your stuff out of here. And just take it out of there. And then you can start something new. Um, so, uh, here's all the stuff, because I'm, I'm getting ready to do the pure certist stuff here. So, I'm going to put some pure certist in here. Don't know how much we're actually going to need. I think it'll only give us six for this. And we'll go ahead and get these processing, because I'm sure we'll probably need them. Or something I'll take those out now they'll also start these are the diamond ones um, right here this is the recipe Be by the way if it doesn't work for you it's because the industrial diamond is set um, you can just set the diamond one uh, manually and you'll be fine but yeah I had a problem with uh, it being the industrial diamond the industrial diamond always causes issues but yeah we can go ahead and move on um, so I also got the other inscriber. Um, so now we can actually work with this uh, Ceres Quartz. Um, so it looks like, oh, we're missing this one. So we'll get five of them. I really need more than that. Uh, and we also need to go ahead and press these down. Let's see, the calculation, not what I meant to do. Why is it showing, oh, there it is. Okay, the calculation, the engineering is the diamond one. I know we're going to need this. So I'm going to get those in there, get those working, while we start working on some other stuff. Okay, we're going to need a either controller, probably controller. Let's go, just go to Applied Logistics. Um, we can go with the controller to start off with, or we can go with the energy acceptor. Let's look at that. Okay, the energy acceptor requires the calculation processor. Okay, this requires a engineering processor. Um, we're going to need the ME controller anyways. So I don't see why we don't just start with the ME controller. Um, Skystone block. Of course, that's cooked Skystone. Um, I did find that even with the upgrades inside the macerator here, um, the segment is still faster, and I think this is honestly faster. The octatic capacitor in there. Let's only do half of those, because I don't know if this is used for anything else. It's used for decoration. Is the chest used? No, chest is not used for anything. Ah, this. We need skystone dust, probably for stuff later on. Um, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've used this mod. I can't remember what this is used for. I'm sure it's something important, though. But, uh, that should all be done. Where did it go? Up top, chop chest. Okay. So, the getting the applied energistics set up. I'm probably going to get rid of the inventory panel that we have here. Um, this stuff will just go in a chest somewhere until we get a bigger setup. But uh, I'm still going to be hooked to the wall, so don't worry about the wall disappearing. The wall will probably stay for a little while. 
um, at least until we get a better footing in, into applied energistics because I can't really start making large storage cells um, until we get a little bit farther into some automation. I just don't want to start processing those. I need to figure out a way. I probably have to make a bunch of carpenters. It's probably going to be the best way to do this. Okay, before we can even make the ME controller though, we got to go ahead and process these. So, uh, the redstone goes on the side. This printed silicon goes on the bottom. And these go on the top. And this takes a little while. Um, eventually we'll get some upgrades and that won't be a big deal. But now we can make the controller. So, let's make our controller, our first ME controller. Awesome. Now, we have to hook this up to some power. And to do that, I really don't want to hit this yet. Um, let's see, this is hooked to a network. Let's see, I can probably bring the network cable up. Yeah, we could probably do that. I don't know if this has the uh, Applied Energistics cable that goes with uh, Ender.io. Let's look at Ender.io. Is the ME cabling in here? That is the question. Where is it at? It would probably be like a conduit, right? And I don't see it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a part of it. I remember 1.7, that was a thing. I haven't used Applied Energistics since 1.7. That's how long it's been. I know, it's been a while. Okay, um, well. Let's go ahead and make a few other things before we actually set this up. That way we can get rid of the inventory panel. Um, our next step. Probably getting a, a screen. So, a crafting screen. So, we can get that, or we can work on getting the drive. But it's all going to require the same parts anyways. So, let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. We need to work on our... On these guys now. What is this waiting on? It's got all the pieces it needs. Needs water? I'm confused. Does it need power? No, it's got power. Huh. Am I missing... Oh, this is not analyzed? How did it get in here if it's not analyzed? We have to go over here. I might as well grab some more, too, while I'm over here. So this is not analyzed, but now it is. And this one. These should all be analyzed. Don't know why they wouldn't be. Um, we're going to have to figure out how to automate this. This is going to be one of the tougher things to automate. There we go. Now we're working. Oh, I got to forget. Take these out. There we go. Okay. Um, not the engineering. We're going to need the calculation. So let's throw that in there. We can throw one of those in there. Let's throw all of them in there. Bam, there's our other two. All right, we have some going. Okay, let's take a look again. Um, let's see what the monitor is going to require. So the ME crafting terminal, of course, is going to require an ME terminal. Um, these require either pure certus quartz or certus quartz. And we need flux dust. Okay. So I might need to make some more flux. Does this, can this be turned into flux dust? Really don't want to spend it on that. But let's turn this into flux dust. Um, this is the, the flux dust you see right here. This is actually what you, you combine sand with to get uh, the pure certus you see there. Okay. Um, hopefully we have enough now. ME terminal. We could probably make this. Oh, we're gonna need quartz. Okay, so not certus quartz. 
we're gonna need regular quartz. Because it's cheaper. We're gonna need a bunch of this stuff anyways. I I I should know this by now. I've done applied energistics like two times. And I've done I mean I've gotten pretty far into applied energistics. Um, I totally forgot about nether quartz dust being a thing that's used a lot. Um, it's used for cabling, it's used for a lot of stuff. So, um, that's something to keep in mind. It's used to make that glass as well. So, there we go. Um, hopefully that'll get us a little bit of glass anyways. Just a little bit. Okay. There we go. We'll get 20 of those for now. And let's go back to Applied, Energis Applied Energistics. Okay. Applied Energistics has... Where is it at? Not the ME interface, but it uses the ME interface. It's called a, a bus, a storage bus, ME storage bus. And that's what we're going to hook into our controller. There we are. ME terminal. We should be able to get this guy at least. Our inventory is crazy right now. Okay, we need to make a f the formation cores. I guess this is going to work. Um, annihilation cores. Okay. Probably need to make more than that, but this will be fine for now. And then a logic processor will get us an ME terminal. And then we need this with a calculation processor. So we got to get the calculation processor started. Yeah, our inventory. Man. Okay, let's throw this in here. We can probably put some other stuff in here that we don't need right now. We can always come and get it here in a minute. Okay, so we have that. Now we should be able to throw this in here. And it's, I mean, this is simple automation for the, I mean, for beginning. You're not, you're not going to want something like this for your later build, but uh, you're probably going to have multiple inscribers and stuff like that. There's our one calculation, so that's going to get us a crafting monitor. Pretty sure all we need is a crafting table. Okay, so here is the holy grail of crafting tables. As you see, we got achievement, a much bigger table. Awesome. Finally, we got our ME system ready to go. What else do we need? Uh, we need not an ME export bus. We need a ME storage bus. Where is that at? It's probably here, right here. No, it's import bus. Right here, ME storage bus. So this is gonna require an ME interface and our formation cores. Okay, pretty sure we have everything for the ME interface. We do, right? It said we did. What are we missing? It's not pulling anything in there. Let's see, is that any kind of glass? I'm not sure. Um, ME interface. Blocks glass. Any kind of glass. We probably don't... Oh, we have 25 glass right here. So, let's go back. There it goes. Now it crafted its... Okay, you just needed to make its mind up. ME storage bus. So, ME interface, a sticky piston. Probably all we're missing is a sticky piston. Awesome. We have an ME storage bus. Limitless potential. Okay. That's basically all we need. That and the ME controller. And we're going to need ME cabling. So we can just get some Fluix cable. So like I said, that quartz dust is used for this. And this is going to be a really simple swap of stuff. Okay. So we no longer need the vat. Um, unfortunately, the 
the thing that's going to happen is it's not going to automatically pull from here unless we swap it out to the bottom. Then it can. It could still work. I'll just put it behind here. Uh, but now we should be able to put our ME storage bus. Actually, let's put a uh, network. Let's put our controller down here, right? We probably got to move our cabling a little bit. Let's move some things around. Let's get this moved here. So it still has power. This is going to look really cool <laughs> like that. We'll get our storage bust here and then we'll hook our ME cabling to it and the network. Take this up and we should be able to put our panel here. And now we have access to all of our items. This is nice. This is really nice. Oh, this is so much better. Ah, oh, this is so familiar. Um, I wonder, do we have... Yeah, no, this this is just, this outrivals. This totally outrivals the inventory panel by far. Um, it all should work the same. And this is... Ah, what a relief. What a relief. So crafting and everything should be a lot nicer. It looks like my uh, UI scale is a little funky. I don't know why. I have a 1080p monitor, okay? You would think that it would fit the 1080p monitor, that these mod developers would think that that's the standard. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe my UI scale should not be set to auto. I don't know. I leave it set to auto and this is what I get. I don't know. <laughs> some some mods uh, have that issue. Oops, I took those out. Um, I gotta figure out something to do. What can I store? It's showing that these things are being stored. Okay, so everything that can be stored was just stored. Like this should be able to be stored? No? I don't have space for it. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know what just happened. Oh, I know what's happening. My mouse tweaks is causing issues when I scroll. Okay, I just don't need to scroll on the item unless I want them. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's giving me the item. That's a bit buggy. Come on, mouse tweaks. Trying to get all my stuff stored away, and you're just... You're not working here. Okay, so we got our stuff stored. Um, I guess we can... The next step would be working on getting a ME storage drive. I actually want to have this synced with... Uh, with JEI here. So set this to inventory synchronized standard. Okay, this is not... That's not working. JEI synchronized auto. That should work. Maybe the, it'll work like here. It's not. There it goes. There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, so now crafting should become even easier. Um, oh, let's see, let's, let's work on getting the ME storage drive, the ME drive. So bam, now we have a drive. Okay, now we have to get storage containers, or the storage cells. Um, our best bet might be going this route, I really don't want to use my pure Certus Quartz. All this is, is the same thing, just with three. Hmm. With the type of stuff that we have, it's probably going to be best that we just make the 1K at the moment. Because the, the this works a lot differently than refined storage. If you've watched uh, my previous videos, I, I use refined storage. Uh, this works a little bit differently. Um, there's a, a certain amount of bytes inside each one of these storage cells, and the bytes basically say, okay, you have, say you have um, 64 cobblestone. Well, if this drive only supported 64 cobblestone, 
then the drive would be full. Um, but it holds 63 types. So if you if you have say a drive that only had two types and you had the same amount of bytes that held 64 cobblestone, you would only be able to hold like 32 cobblestone and then whatever your other item is, 32 of it. And then that drive would be full. Or if you wanted just 64 cobblestone, then you would only have the one drive holding cobblestone even though it had two different types available. So this is how this works, uh, except for you have 63 types, so it'll hold 63 different types of items, and then your bytes is how many total items within that 63 types um, are available. So it's a little weird, a little different, but uh, I actually like the way this works because I'd rather have a card that holds more, uh, more items like my instead of having all these drawers everywhere where each drawer holds four items but it holds a lot like it holds like 500 and something of each something like that 512 yeah I'd rather have the other thing so all right applied energistics let's try and make the storage cell where did it go there they are um, and it requires that quartz glass. Like I said, that quartz glass is, I mean, it's, you're going to lose a, use a lot of quartz. Um, how many of these can we make? Just one. Oh, no, we can make a few of them. Let's make three, four drives. Let's make four drives. I love how it's using our regular quartz, which is good. All right. And let's go back. And hopefully we have enough to make more drives. can't put I don't have enough storage is what I'm working on right, let's go ahead and set up this now um, I guess a good place would be right above this because we can do that um, I'm trying to there we go so there's our our storage drives and we have one drive in there now you know what I kind of like how refined storage was it kind of extruded out I wish this had that. I wish it kind of had more detail on the blocks. All right, so now we can store the items. That's oh, so nice. I don't want to store my quantum. But there we go. Awesome. Our inventory now cleaned up. We are looking good. Man, I'm already I'm already super excited uh, that we got the uh, Emmy system. Ugh, no words to describe how awful it has been to get to this point um because this is one of my favorite mods by the way one of them i have several mods that i love but this is one of my favorites okay let's go back to applied and let's finish up making those drives now we should be able to make the drives because it's actually in the inventory yes so there we go Three more drives that's a total of four so we can hold quite a bit or quite a few items right now in this plus we have all the storage behind us that's already there how cool is that we are set up now um, also with the Emmy interfaces we can start doing other things so just keep that in mind um, we could honestly put an export bus here and export rotten flesh and nether wart just to keep this going but we have no need for constant nutrient distillation right now, so it would make no sense to do that at the moment. Um, we will need it for this stuff, possibly. I mean, we're, we're gonna need a lot of this later on, at least if I want to further my teleportation abilities with RF tools. But yeah, uh, we need to figure out some way, some way to get this automated. Um, I need to figure out some way to take this, these certain ones, only this, only certain ones, and filter those over there. Make sure these drawers are locked so that way they'll retain that per certain area, certain thing. But basically, have a chest or another drawer set up over there with only these certain types in it, and that'll make it a lot easier. Just having these over there would make it a lot easier, so I could probably set some conduit up to do that and pull directly out of here um, with some filters. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. By the way, I set up trash can just to kind of keep this cleared out because 
I don't know why this one is not. Why? Why is it not doing that? Oh, it ended up in here. Okay. So what I did, uh, I went down and I basically rerouted. So um, anything that uh, goes in here uh, that can be analyzed will go up here. It'll be analyzed. It will pull out the analyzed chip and it should not insert it into here. Right? Is this set to... This needs to be disabled. There we go. So this is only going to pull out items that are in the red. And this is going to pull out the green items. And it's going to route them into here. So it's none of this is going to happen anymore. So I can take these out and we won't have to worry about those items being messed up anymore. So yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, the only problem is I'm going to have to still come here and check the swords and stuff like that. Because I'm not deleting everything. Um, there's only a few things in the filter because I don't have the greatest of filters But it should keep calculators and basic terrain modules. I probably should do advanced modules. I don't know Seems like we're getting more of other things now So kind of kind of an issue um, I also put two speed upgrades in each of these so this is going a little bit faster Not too much, but each of those speed upgrades requires uranium so just keep that in mind. Um, we have quite a few, or quite a bit of uranium at the moment. At least I think it's a lot. Um, I think it's like right under a stack. All right, and as you can see right here, we have 20 and it's just been processing. It's actually processing one right now, 78%. Um, but yeah, those, the ones we put in here before, they're still processing. Two episodes in, still processing. They take a long time. Whereas, I mean, this, we have more UU matter to spend on other things, but it does take a lot. Um, but yeah, I've been using some of it as, some of it as well. We put a, a stack or a half a stack in there. And that's what we got. But yeah, we're looking pretty good now. We are doing pretty good. Uh, loving the, loving this. This is awesome. Loving the, oh, I, I don't know if I should remove the, this, because doing this right here, that's not cool. I don't like that at all. Like we'd have to scroll outside because if we scroll inside, it's going to pull items out. I might end up removing that mod now that we have this set up because we really don't need that mouse tweaks much anymore. I can probably find another mod that might not do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Right now, it's uh, it's kind of bugging me. But yeah, we basically have a ME system up. That's cool, man. I. That's awesome. Look how much... Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think we'll be making any more cobblestone. That's like... Oh, that makes even more? What? Octuple compressed cobblestone. Creative vending upgrade. Basic bin. Basic... What? What is this? Oh, it requires two creative fluid tanks, creative gas tank. Creative gas tanks requires creative energy cube. That requires a quantum generator. That requires a creative capacitor bank. And the creative capacitor bank requires a quantum solar panel. Holy moly. Requires a lot of stuff. That's less end game. That's end game right there. You just gotta sneak peek at some end game stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Getting uh, like actually seeing how easy it is to really set up a ME crafting terminal uh, or ME system, basic ME system, um, and hook it up to your existing storage system. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah,